Hello everybody, welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. Back with another video, the Three Amigos are back! That's right. Uh, right here on Wrestling Rampage, we're going to be doing five questions with... W, are you getting comfortable over there? Yeah, trying to. Uh, five questions with WR. That's five questions with Wrestling Rampage where you guys send us questions uh, and we answer them. Uh, wrestling related or not, you guys can uh, do that. Um, you guys can do that through our Facebook, facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage 2. Or if you have me or Tommy on Facebook, uh, old Reggie Bush here ain't got no damn uh, uh, Facebook or anything. Don't believe in the media. Uh, so uh, I'm Joey. Tommy Flat F L A T T. You guys can add us on Facebook. Um, we'll be glad to be friends. We'll be glad to talk to you guys about wrestling if you guys want to. Um, on our Twitter at Russell Rampage, and also if you guys want to send us a postcard or a letter or a package, you guys can do that through a PO box. Uh, Joseph Flat F L A T T. Joseph is my real name. Uh, I gotta use my real given name because they wouldn't allow us to use Wrestling Rampage. So, Joseph Flat, F L A T T, P.O. Box 6005 in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, 42702. With that being said, we'll go ahead and get started with the five questions asked by Wahiki, uh, aka Brita 35, our good friend, our, our good brother from New Zealand. Um, first question asked What is your ultimate wrestling grail? Uh, that you wish you owned. What I wish I owned? Yes. Ric Flair's robe. Ric Flair's robe. Signed? Signed. And, and one he actually wore? Yeah, one he actually wore. Is there one specifically? Nope, it, don't, it don't matter. It don't matter? It, it could be one of the it, shitty it 70s one? It could be one of the shitty ones. <laughs> I don't care. Alright. Pops. I would like to have the, the old NWA title uh, signed. I'd like to have it signed by Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes, Wahoo McDaniel, Harley Race, Harley Race, Harley Ricky number one. Uh, and brother, let me tell you something, that, that right there would really be a whole drill. Okay, it's no secret that I'm a big fan of Shawn Michaels. Anything from Shawn Michaels, and I'm talking about anything. Boots, tights, wardrobe. The fucking chains that got stuck in the goddamn fucking grate from Raw when he when he got stuck. <laughs> Don't matter. Uh, anything of Shawn Michaels that he actually owned would be a, a wrestling holy grail. Yeah, for, you'd probably get one me. of his fucking shitty deer hats. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, give me fucking, the shitty deer hats. And his shitty goddamn fucking blue jeans that he hunt yeah. deer in. Yeah. Fucking, he could be, he could be one of those goddamn sweaty fucking. Fucking tank tops that he wore, fucking deer. You got damn right. You got damn right. Well, maybe Fuck you, Sean. Or maybe Fuck his you. shit brown uh, wrestling tights. That's right. Give give me the poopy brown pants from fucking Survivor Series 2002. I'll take them. Next, uh, next question: Is there such a thing as a real wrestling fan? Yeah, there's a such thing as a real wrestling fan. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Explain. I don't even get the fuck the question. What is, is, is there such a thing as a real wrestling fan? Oh, well. There used to be. Used to be. What do you mean? K Fabe's dead. Everyone, everyone knows everything about the wrestling business nowadays. Come on. Don't you, don't you read the internet? Everything on the internet's fucking true these days. Yeah. You know. All oh. these fucking smart oh. marks. Oh, you read on the internet? Well, oh, that's oh yeah. When yeah. Dave true. Meltzer writes it, it's fucking true. When Dave fucking Crotch Meltzer writes it, it's fucking true. Yeah. You know, or fucking, or fucking, who else writes goddamn fucking shitty goddamn articles? Uh, Wade Keller. Well, Wade Meltzer. Keller, oh, it's true. Anything these motherfucking jock sniffers that's never been in a ring before in their fucking life think they know more about wrestling than anything. Yes, well, actually, some people call them the real wrestling fans. The real wrestling fans? Give me a fucking break. They haven't even been in a... They probably haven't even sniffed the goddamn canvas. Okay? They don't know shit about wrestling. All they know how to do... Eric Young and 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 Ty Dellinger gets a one star because it wasn't 
like the fucking Yum Bucks who lick my balls. Because it wasn't a New Japan Pro Wrestling match. Because it wasn't a New Japan Pro Wrestling match. And all, the, and all the New Japan wrestlers lick my hairy nuts. Yeah, yeah. That's Dave Meltzer for you. Fuck you. In your fucking indie fucking bed. Dave Meltzer, you probably fucking fuck every indie guy, don't you? In the fucking Pro Wrestling Gorilla and fucking New Japan. Fuck you. You probably fucking rape them every day, don't you? Pops, is there such a thing as a world wrestling fan? Uh... Well, I don't know. I think I'm a, I, I'm a good wrestling fan. Uh, I've, I've been watching it ever, ever, ever since I was, I was, I was a boy. Uh, seen a few since of the you matches. Were a boy. Yeah. Very, very boy. Went and went and watched them uh, as much as I could. Uh, I, I think though a real wrestling fan to me is is the one whether you you know whether you love it or hate it. You, you, you still love to watch it no matter what. No matter how damn mad it fucking makes you. It, it intrigues look, you. It brings you in. Look, WWE makes me mad. Okay? But I still watch the motherfucker. Because, one, there ain't nothing else on. Uh, and two, because I'm still a wrestling fan. Yeah, when it comes down to it, uh, a real wrestling fan we'll is... You still watch the fucking product. No matter if it You're not going to miss it, I'm sorry, because there ain't nothing else on fucking TV these No, days. I mean, I mean, you're not going to watch it all the time. No, no. But, because uh, cause I, I didn't watch Raw. Uh, I watched snippets and then I fell asleep. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, a real wrestling fan, uh, if, if you like wrestling, you're a wrestling fan. Yeah. That, that's the end all uh, be all. And I'm a wrestling fan. And, and here's the thing, a lot of people are like, I'm a wrestling fan when they don't even know what the fuck a wrestling is. Yeah, who's this guy? Uh, well, you don't know shit. You, you got, you know, I, I, I learned, you know, from, from since we started this right here, you know, some people, you know, saying this and saying that, and saying, you know, the, the wrestling this, the wrestling that, and, and I've come to find out that some of these guys out here that, that don't know a wrist lock from a wrist watch. Well, that's the whole reason why we started yeah. this channel exactly. in the first place. There's, there is a uh, lot of people on YouTube that claim to like wrestling or claim to be wrestling fans that know a lot about wrestling don't yeah and you know it just proves the fact that if you do know your wrestling or if you or if you pursue something that you want to pursue you know you could be successful I, you know because we are we are dedicated uh, to this uh, I mean I, I, I watched wrestling for years ever since I was a kid uh, the kids <laughs> grew up on wrestling uh, because me and their mother would, would watched it all the time. We would, would take them to matches though, you know, and uh, it's just that way. Yeah. You know, and uh, to me there is there is a real wrestling fan, no matter what else, any other, any other say, these fucking marks out here, fuck them. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments below, if, 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 you know, if there is a real wrestling fan. Oh, you don't want to touch that over there? <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting for the next question here. Next question. Here we go. Next question is, how would you rank the top five women in WWE? Top five now. Now. Well, I'm assuming now. I'll go ahead and do the, go to number five. Okay, go ahead. Number five. Number five is going to be uh, Sasha Banks. Okay. Number four. Is going to be Nia Jax. Number three is going to be Natalia. Number two is going to be Charlotte Flair, and number one is going to be Alexa Bliss. All right, pops. Uh, How would you rank five, the five top women in WWE? Wow, well, uh, Josh Banks definitely, Bailey, uh, and and and. Uh, uh, Becky Lynch, uh, uh, let's see, Lexa Bliss, I have to put Charlotte Flair at the top. Uh, me, it's a little different. Sasha Banks is not even in the run. Now. Mickey James, Becky Lynch, um,
Natalia. I go with third. Because at least she won the fucking title. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, after she was floundered for fucking years. <laughs> uh, Charlotte and Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Um, actually, this leads into the uh, fourth question. Alright. Do you think the WWE... Uh, the four horsewomen of WWE have uh, seemed irrelevant since the roster shakeup. Absolutely. Yes. Look at Becky Lynch. She hadn't done nothing since she won the SmackDown Women's Championship at fucking Backlash. Of last year. Of last year. Last fucking year. And she, all she does is job. I haven't seen her win one fucking match yet. Except the tag matches. Well, well usually she's the one. She's the fall. It's fucking sad. Yeah, it is true. Becky Lynch has not done nothing. She, I'm that. sorry, she's the worst one out of, out of the three. No, I'm serious. She's the worst one out of the three. Out of the four. Well, out of the fucking four. You okay. know what I mean? She's the jobber of the goddamn group. I'd actually put Sasha Banks as the jobber of the group. Jo so. I put her in second. She's up there too. She's she's right next to Becky. And then, and then it's going to be fucking... Then it's gonna be fucking Bailey and all she all she cares about is hugging bitches. <laughs> and she don't care about winning matches. As long as she can, uh, as long as she can fucking use her inflatable tube men and fucking and fucking send out fucking fucking wristbands and fucking all this shit. I she gotta sell my merch. Yeah, I gotta sell her merch. She don't care about winning matches. <laughs> and then and then the last was Charlotte Flair. Now she's in goddamn title contention. Finally. Finally, it fucking took long enough on SmackDown yeah. Live. Yeah, since she came to SmackDown, she hasn't been in title contention since. Goddamn, it took long to fuck enough. Till now, so. So, so actually, if you got to look at it, Charlotte's the one, the dominant one right now. She was, she was the dominant one to begin with. Well, there you go. She's still the dominant one. Pops, uh, have they seemed irrelevant since the shakeup? Oh hell, de uh, definitely. Now you know you you, you see shit. You know that that like like the the. the what is it? The cage fighters of the women? Uh, yeah, uh, and, uh, of, of UFC. Yeah, yeah. And, and and now the uh, it seems like me like you know Shea Baszler. Fuck yeah. you. Fuck There's, you and fuck you, Ronda Rousey. They want this match. It kind of seems like me like, like 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 they want this match. Uh, the uh, the um, horse women versus yeah, the horse the women. Yeah, that fucking that's it. Series. That's what they want. That's what I've been hearing too. Uh, yeah. You know what? I don't fucking want to see it because I don't care. I don't fucking care because uh, Becky Lynch probably be the first one gone. Like always. <laughs> Because, because here's the thing right here. Uh, I think Fuck the women, UFC. I think UFC the women of WWE will lose it because they want to bring that right there bar up for, for for the for the women of the of the NFC or whatever the fuck they are. It's UFC. UFC. Well, whoever the fuck they are, I, th I think they understand their own fucking shit. Don't get involved in wrestling. Yeah, I'm sorry. UFC fighters that come out and go to the WWE don't have that good success. Sorry. Yeah. The only the only one that had actually big success out of, the, out of that was Brock Lesnar, sadly enough. Yeah, all the rest. He was a wrestler before he before he even went to UFC. Yeah. yeah. So. So yeah, I don't know how that's gonna play play into this right here. You know how WWE they'll they'll probably try to play it in somewhere, but as far as far as it being relevant, no. Um. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they seem very irrelevant since the shakeup, big time. Uh, uh, Becky Lynch has been used, but nothing but uh, to get other women over. Oh, well, she is this is jobber on SmackDown, like Sammy. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sammy's the guy jobber, and, and Becky Lynch is the girl. Is the is is the girl jobber? Yeah. Uh, Sasha Banks can't hold on to the title for a guy. Oh fuck, ball. she can't hold on to the title. She, she has them butterfingers. Yeah, yeah. She fucking oh 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 oh, oh I got the title now. Well, it's looked out of my hands. <laughs> you know, four time. Uh, is it four or five? I don't fucking know. Who is How many times fucking she made fucking titles? Don't get, I don't give a shit. But every fucking title that she won, she hasn't even held on to it for a month. Oh, fuck no. She, 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 she holds on to it for like three weeks and then yeah. loses it. Yeah, and then loses it. But, uh, uh, and then... Hot potato. And then Bailey. Like I said, all she cares about is selling them merch and inflatable tubes. Uh, you know, when it comes down to it, I mean, I mean, the, to me, Bailey wasn't the greatest one of uh, them. To me, anyway. she was the fourth string. To me, she was the fourth string. But now that Becky Lynch keeps losing every goddamn now, match, now she's the fourth string. She is the fourth yeah. string. 
Uh, and then uh, Charlotte was always the top one anyway. And she still is. And she still is. And, and probably was still always will be. And we're going to find out at Hell in a Cell yes, if, if she's going to defeat Natalia or not. Yeah. So. Yes, we will. You know, I, I've, I've got to go, I've got to go with, with what she says. It's genetics. We know her, we, we know her, her, her great father. And the last question asks, Brian Breda35, how fitting that this, uh, that this question is, uh, Part of the KWP, the, All Ki right. the Kiwi WWE Predictions Channel. If you guys do not uh, know what that is, you guys can look it up. The Kiwi Wrestling Prediction Channel. Go uh, check them out. Yeah, We're part of it. Yes, uh, Wrestling Rampage is part of it. Uh, RUB Figs is part of it. RK Over Entertainment, Wrestling Rampage, Wrestling Attic 100, and Bria 35. We are all in that channel. Uh, fighting for wrestling gold yeah. uh, exactly. to be champions. And you're looking at the KWP Big Four champions since we were won it at SummerSlam. Yeah. Uh, and uh, RK Over Entertainment, we're coming for the uh, KWP United States Championship at Hell in a Cell. And, yeah. and we're going to bring home that gold too. Yeah. You might as well just say it's one done and over. Yeah, so, so you might as well go ahead, shine it up real nice, put it in the package, and go ahead and send it to us. And no lipstick, please. Yes. Uh, so the fourth, uh, sorry, the fifth question asked, the, uh, if the members of the KWP were wrestlers, what finisher would you give each one, as well as the name of their finisher? And right now we're going to go through this. You know, we discussed this beforehand, and we we came up with some maneuvers. You, you, you got you got to say that we we really racked our brains to try to figure this right here out, and uh, we come up with you know I, I figured would be pretty good, pretty good. You know, accolades about it. Right now, the uh, the KWP Intercontinental Champion is uh, Rub Figs, and he's going to be the first one up. We came up with his finishing move is going to be the off the top rope splash. And uh, we came up with a name. Uh, Tommy, what's the name of the off the top rope splash? The Fig Newton. The Fig Newton! <laughs> For RUB Figs, he's going to do the off the top rope splash. It's going to be called the Fig Newton. And, and hopefully Fig Newtons does not copyright that for us. Yeah. Oh well. If not, we'll change it to Fig Bars. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, do, we'll, we'll change it to something, I guarantee it. Anyway. Uh, next one is Wrestling Addict 100. And uh, we came up with the uh, Pancake Neckbreaker. The, uh, uh, the, the spinning neckbreaker. Uh, uh, if you guys don't know, Albert A. Train had it uh, for for a short period of time uh, when he was Albert. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, you remember the name of that uh, move, Tom? No, not really. We called it the Attic Flattener. Oh yeah, the Attic Flattener. The yes. Attic yes. Flattener. It's called the Attic Flattener. Uh, the the spinning uh, pancake neckbreaker is the Attic Flattener by Wrestling Attic 100. Now we're going to go into the one that asked us the question. Bree the 35. Bree the 35. Yep. We came up with, uh, uh, Brita, we hope that you like to fly. Because we got you uh, uh, an off the top rope finisher as well. You're going to do the corkscrew moonsault. And we're going to call it <laughs> the NZ35. The NZ35. Uh, and, you know, as you guys know, uh, R.U.B. Figs, Fig Newton, you know, we came up with, a, you know, yeah, name and name. Uh, Wrestling Act 100, the Attic Flattener. Uh, now, when it comes to Brita 35, you know, we had to use the 35. Yeah. And we know, Brita, we know that you love New Zealand. We know you love New Zealand. Where so, we did the NZ. Yes, we know, we know you're a big countryman and... and and everything. And so, it's all right with us. Yes, uh, uh, you know, we, we couldn't use Brita at all. You no, know, we we're, couldn't. We're sitting there like, eh, how, the, how the hell are we going to use this? It's so like a rack of a brain. Yeah, so we're going to call it the NZ35. There we go. And now we come to the reigning KWP United States Champion, RK Over Entertainment. 
And what he is going to be using as his finisher is, uh, you remember Gold Dust's curtain call? Well, he's going to call it the Entertainment Over. Yes. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, he's going to use Gold Dust's curtain call, Entertainment Over. Um, and then it comes to your reigning and defending KWP Big Four Champions Wrestling Rampage. And what you guys are watching right now, Wrestling yeah. Rampage. Uh, we came up with our finisher. You know, we're thinking, you know, there's three of us. You know, we can't do a single lead move. You know, you know, as the KWP, we're a group. We're not a, we're not singles. Yeah. yeah. So we came up with, we're going to do the 3D. Now we're going to do it different. One person's going to hold one leg. The other person's going to hold the other leg as the other person is driving the head through the mat. So uh, and uh, we're we're going to call our 3D the Rampager. Yeah. That's it. The Rampager. The Rampager. Uh, now, now, now Tommy over here wanted to use the Ram Jam. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like, I don't, I don't know about the Ram Jam. Uh, so, uh, you know, it was, it was like, I don't know about that. What do you think? We get come back and forth, and nah, I mean, but we'll think it's up in there. We're not gonna use Randy the Rams finisher. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter, at WrestlingRampage. If you guys want to send us a postcard or a letter or a package, you guys can do that through our P.O. Box, P uh, Joseph Flat, F-L-A-T-T, P.O. Box 6005 in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, 42702. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know wrestling.